Hey guys, in this lecture I'm going to be breaking down the panels that you see around the screen and uh, we're going to be going over what they are, some of the options you can find inside of each of them and uh, then we're going to move on and get started with navigation in 3D. So uh, if you are following along, you may still have this splash screen showing from the first lecture. So uh, to get rid of that, all you have to do is left click off to the side and it will go away. So I'm going to start at the top of the screen and I'm just going to kind of work my way around describing what I can, uh, I can see all the way around. Uh, this top bar right here is called the info panel and it's going to contain options that are related to um, loading, saving, um, quitting uh, things within the scene and uh, you can also find the user preferences under file here. Uh, it's got a couple of other menus, most notably the help menu. Um, and uh, it will also contain some uh, information about the renderer that you're using and uh, objects that are contained within the 3D viewport. If you look to the left here, you're going to be able to see the tool panel. And uh, if I drag this over a little bit to expand the window, um, you're going to see these multiple tabs on the far left. And if you click through each of these, they're going to give you different options um, that are related to uh, different parts of Blender's tool set. So um, if you go to the Create tab, you'll be able to create objects that will be put into the 3D scene here. So uh, we'll be going over more of that later. At the very bottom of the screen, you can see um, what looks like um, sort of a, 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 a line with a bunch of numbers. <laughs> I was going to say football field, but <laughs> this is called the timeline. And uh, if you left click and drag in here, it will um, change your current position in time within the 3D scene. So as you can see, as I drag around, the numbers here and here will change. And this is uh, gonna tell you what the current frame is that you're on. So uh, we, we will uh, talk a little bit more about uh, how this works and uh, what it can do. But um, we're not gonna be covering a lot of animation in this course so uh, it won't be super necessary. Um, on the far right is the, um, this is the properties panel. And so inside of this, you're gonna find most of the options for manipulating things that are found within the 3D scene here. Um, so if you go through, you've got all these tabs and each tab contains information uh, that's related to modifying or adding options that will uh, change how we see things, how we interact, and uh, how your scene is basically set up. And then lastly up here, we've got the outliner. This contains a breakdown of all the objects that are within your scene. So if you go through here, you'll notice that uh, within the 3D view, we've got uh, three objects. We've got a camera, we've got a cube, and we've got this lamp here. And so these are listed right here. If I left click, I can just go through and it will select these for me. And then you're gonna have other options like your world settings render layers if you have those, and uh, things like that. And so we will get into more about each of the panels around the screen in uh, other lectures, but I wanted to just go through and give you a very brief explanation of what they all are. And uh, lastly, before we wrap this lecture, this panel in the middle here is the 3D viewport. It's where you're gonna be spending um, a, quite a bit of your time. And uh, again, we will get more into how to use this panel and uh, get in here manipulating objects and things like that in lectures to come. So thank you guys for listening and I will see you in the next lecture.